Hey guys, it's TechRain here. In today's video, I'm going to do how to do a PC case swap. That is right. This is going to be a fun video because if you guys don't know, I have a Facebook Marketplace post that I have for PC builds and just for like tech support and some other stuff that people can ask me and pay me to do, which is pretty nice in itself. And somebody asked me if they could do a PC case swap for their Corsair G4000 into the, was it the Hype uh, Y70 actual PC case? And I haven't messed with that PC case. I did see it when it came out. I was like, super excited and I actually wanted to like review it and stuff like that, but it just didn't make sense to because it's like a $200 PC case. I'm not the kind of guy who invests a whole lot in PC case. I feel like you should be able to spend $60 to $100 and be good. Uh, but since he was asking about it, doing a PC case swap, I said, you know what, I'll do it for you. And I'm, that's what we're gonna do here today. So what we need to do is pick up the PC case and the PC for him. So you, you want a case swap for this PC uh -huh. and then you want a new IO installed. You have the Leanly 240 and you yeah. wanna get the 360 on the Y70, right? Yeah, I don't know, whichever, you know, yeah, looks I'll, best aesthetically. And I'll probably right. do top because mounting on the top is gonna be better for two different reasons. One, it's gonna be better for cooling. Okay. And also two, it's just longevity. Because if you put it on the front, it does work. But of course, at the same time too, it's better if you do it from top because hot air rises. And if you do an exhaust on the top too, it's gonna be just better for long term. Oh, yeah. okay. Also, you found being on camera. If not, I can just blur you. No, out. I'm I'm good. Don't okay. worry about it. And okay. I watched your channel. Pretty he did. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, you enjoy, do you enjoy the video? Which one do you watch? Yeah. No. I no. I watch you uh, live stream. Oh. Okay. Yeah. That's. I, I've been trying to do the live stream more for like when I do my thing, but also like if people have a PC question when I come ask me when I'm live, it just like makes my life so much easier because yeah. then like if they're trying to like, hey, I want to do this and that, they can do it. As long as it's not something like random, I'm getting a blue screen. I don't know what you're getting the blue screen for. You can tell me, but yeah, that, that it's mostly right. Uh, like temperature. Uh, blue screens can be like a variety of things. It can be from software, the hardware, to even just like BS was, from capacitors. You know, I was getting that blue screen like um for which my, one ram or no i think it was um because of um cables were loose the cpu cables. oh yeah that sometimes happens this so i help. got you a, a new t uh, thermal uh paint okay so i have some at the studio too oh okay here. but uh you can just set that on in there i should have I'm, I'm gonna have it done by tomorrow we'll just meet here at the same time we oh, got okay. here yeah, the io mm -hmm. if you want to get the uh case but yeah, yeah. so you excited for the y70 yeah i like the y70 i was trying to get the lee and lee uh but um but I think the the Y seventy looks way better. I think that one looks better just because of the front panel too. You got the one yeah. with the like the side mirror, right? And, and uh, yeah, I got the side mirror. I didn't get the screen. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. But yeah. Um. So I got this adapter. Yeah, you got the. Hopefully it works. Yeah, an ARGB splitter. Yeah, I saw this one online. Yeah. I think you'll be fine because they have some for your Seuss motherboard. Uh -huh. So we should be good there. Worst case scenario, we just slap this on in there. Yeah. We're good. And some of the pins are like a little, you know. Like dent or are, like on the CPU or on uh, on the motherboard? On the motherboard, okay. Well, as long yeah. as we're just yeah, they're not like you know. Yeah, no. Usually anything. motherboard pins, as long as they're not bent fully, they're yeah, not going to be an they're issue. They're just like a little. Yeah, you'll be fine. All right, I'll use this. Uh -huh. What I'm most likely to do will you just use the some I have on a hand. Oh, okay. And that way you can just like return this, get twelve bucks back. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. You get the receipt for yeah. it, of course. Like I presume you probably got this from uh, Micro Center. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Fairfax. Yeah. yeah, that's, my place, <laughs> that's yeah. the place. They got all the good shit, bro. They got all the shit. Just waiting for spawn. They're waiting for Micro Center to be like, "Hey, we'll sponsor you to come in to build a PC." Then I give it away. <laughs> Micro Center, you hear here first. You know what to do. Okay. Well, I'll have this done. I'll meet you back here at 12:30, okay. and if there's anything that comes up, I will let you know. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. So I just got back to the studio with the actual PC. Before we do the cave swap, though, I am just doing kind of some pictures for thumbnails. And I thought I'd show you guys how this PC looks. Like this guy's PC actually looks amazing. Like I, I literally saw the RGB strips, and I didn't really see these the first time I've ever actually seen them in person, and they work really well. Uh, his GPU is massive. That's the size of my hand. His GPU is significantly bigger than my hand. Like I, it'll be interesting when we. Put Pull everything out and swap it in a different case how big that thing actually is but we can see we have i'm assuming 4090 we have a lee and lee 240 io uh i don't know how much ram that is it could be 32 but it could also be 64. it's 32 gigabytes of ram i should message this guy and be like what's your specs and then we also got an rog strix motherboard this is a b550f motherboard and this is in lee and lee case i'm not oh no this is a corsair case this pc is an absolute menace, to say the very least. I would like the game test and stuff like that on these kind of things, but I don't have access to his password and stuff like that. I'm not gonna mess with the client's PC, just more like making sure it works before we actually do the case swap because I don't wanna like case swap it 
and not know if it worked beforehand. So we're good here, that's a good sign. So I'm gonna finish taking pictures real quick. So before we do the case swap here, I wanna give you guys some tips and advice for actually doing a PC case swap altogether. The first thing I always recommend when you're doing one of these is make sure these PC part picker to find a few things out. First of all, is the PC case you're using form factor wise gonna match the new PC case? So for this one, we know he has a Corsair case. I'm not entirely sure which one it was. I just made sure that the B550F motherboard is matches an ATX form form factor for this case, which is good. So we now know that the Y70 has the same form factor. So we shouldn't really have to mess with any standoffs or anything like that. But that's one thing I always recommend checking. The next thing is making sure to just throw all the other specs you plan to place in that case and PC part picker. Because usually that site will tell you, hey, there's something here that dimensions don't make sense. Or maybe this radiator size doesn't work like this. Case for the Y70 supports a 360 rad on top. So we're good there. We don't have to worry about that. But those are the kind of things I look for when I do a case swap. Now, this is my first time ever one doing one of these kind of things, but it's the same thing as just building a new PC. So let's get in the process. First of all, taking off the side panel, of course. Okay, well, that works. You know, love YouTube. YouTube is the ultimate place for unlimited information. So we'll set this aside for some time being. Okay, so first of all, we got the GPU and stuff in here. Now this is gonna be fun. Uh, let me grab my Phillips screwdriver first. Take out the 16 pin. Ah, that's good. We are probably gonna reuse these RGB strips because they look clean and I think it match the Y70 really nice. Ooh, there we go. There's the GPU. Look at this beefy boy, holy. I set up a new capture card system for the computer so that I can push this, get different camera angles. So the GPU, here it is, outside the PC case. This thing is absolutely ginormous. Like I said earlier, size of my hand. My hand in comparison is like a joke to this actual thing. The next thing here will be actually the cooler, which is not gonna be that hard. We will need to uninstall the back fan because there are screws in the back here. Uh, so this is one of those things where like, I've done install the back fan before I can start the motherboard and also the cooler too, so the IO. Uh, I think we can install the IO from the top. I think it plops on out. I just wanna make sure that real quick. So yeah, the rad does come off from the top here. So that's easy to identify. Luckily I didn't have to look that up with a YouTube video. And it should just come undone. The only reason it shouldn't come undone if it's because of the thermal paste has been used for a minute. So let's see if we can install this motherboard now. There is this that one mess up screw, which my only concern is that it's biting into it to the point where I can't pull it out. Hey, motherboard has been extracted. That took a minute, holy. What I want you to do is go to the comments down below, comment which AM4 CPU this actually is, and no cheating, no skipping ahead to figure out what it is. Comment what you think it will be. Moment of truth, what CPU is this? Okay, so whoever commented, uh, 58X, you are the winner. I thought he might have the 58X 3D, but he does not have that CPU. The case looks nice. The only thing with it is I'm, the cardboard thing, I'm not figuring out how to get that on off. Uh, I assume the case install is going to be really easy. The only thing I need to do is take out the power supply so that other PC. But what we'll do for the time being is we're going to install a motherboard into this. So there is a PCI card for like a bracket thing here. We will need to take this on out before we install our motherboard. And then we can also install our 360 rad on top. I'm going to do that last. So there's a little latch on the bottom here. We can push this down. Um, well, we have an issue, boys. I pushed down the latch because it's a push down latch and it literally was fine for like two seconds and this just came undone. Now, before I decide what I'm gonna do for the motherboard, if I'm gonna vertical mount the GPU or not, let me message the guy and let him know, first of all, one of two things. I'm gonna let him know about the whole thing with the mounting bracket for vertical that came undone, the latch, and then I'm also going to ask him that. So give me a second. Hey man, so I just wanted to call you, they'll talk about a few things. So first of all, PC, everything's coming swimmingly with the whole PC build coming undone. I got the PC out of the Corsair case, all good to go. And I just pulled out the HY70 and we came, we ran into an issue. So this is not like, uh, this is something with the case that I don't know why it was ever designed like this. So you can vertical mount it and horizontal mount it. You want to vertical mount it or horizontally, by the way? Yeah, vertical, I guess. Okay, so we can, we can do that still. That's a good thing here. But for some yeah. reason, when I was uh, making sure everything was good to go on my end to make sure before I put the motherboard in, I pushed uh, the latch, so I pushed the latch down to make sure when we're good to go until the GPU, that'd be just ready to go, right? So I pushed uh -huh. down the latch, I stepped away in the studio for two seconds and I hear a, a snap and the latch came off the PCIe uh, adapter. So it's not gonna affect the GPU performance, but it is one of those things that it should never have come down and done in the first place. Even with the amount of force I added, I added such a middle school yeah. amount of force, it should have never happened. Like if you, want me to, if you want me to take care of it and like pay you money for the case, it's it's not gonna really affect too much. Just let me know what you wanna do about that. Or you can contact the company and be like, hey, this is what happened to the case. Can I get like something like that? I don't know. I just, I don't know how that even yeah. came undone like that. Yeah, don't worry about it. All right. I just thought I'd let you know as the customer so uh, you're good to go. So you know. Appreciate you, you letting me know. No problem, man. 
Those kind of scenarios absolutely suck. I, I legitimately hate the fact that I pushed that on it lightly and popped out of place. That should never be happened ever with this case. Maybe it's a manufacturer problem because like it's supposed to be pushed down before you install the GPU. Yeah, I, I legitimately pushed on it lightly. Keep in mind, clicked, we're good. Then all of a sudden, it snapped. Bro, what? So I think for the rest of this build, what I'm gonna do is focus on just building this PC, wrap pick it on up. Luckily, we're getting close to being done. I just need to do um the GPU, why it's just easy. It's just a big boy too. We gotta like place this in carefully. That though, GPU's in, looking mighty fine too. So that was nice. This is gonna be an honestly clean build when we're done, but I just need to finish this on up first. So the PC is finally finished. It turned out so freaking good. What we're gonna do right now is gonna go deliver it to the guy that gets a reaction. And you guys will see how amazing this thing actually turned out. Now there are only two problems with the PC we mentioned earlier. Of course, that whole like uh, riser cable thing snapped, which was weird. Uh, the second thing I wasn't able to get figured out was the whole RGB cables all them plugged in. Because I got most of the fans powered with RGB. It says like a select few because there wasn't enough headers on the actual motherboard. And then there was like some cables I was missing too. I don't think like he gave me everything. I got most of the stuff, but I didn't have enough cables actually get the last few things because there was like three fan hubs and i'm pretty sure i was missing some stuff yeah not the worst in the world though but it turned out really good turned out very good i'm very happy with it the only thing is we said earlier the rgb fans wasn't able to hook up the so i made it so the front fans work rgb wise oh, okay. so they look really good there's a top one's kind of like an incline so you can't really see in the first place but yeah. when you set up later it looked nice uh -huh. how does she look man you like her oh yeah i like it <laughs> Besides that though, you love it? You love it? You happy? I love it. I love it yeah. <laughs> I've, I've been wanting this case for a while. It's honestly such a good looking case too. Yeah. Like I'm so happy. Once you get a gigabyte motherboard of ice, the white theme one, they the $189 ones can look so much better. Yeah. The DDR5. What CPU do you think you're gonna go for if you go to AM5? At least the 12 core. Because right now I have the 8 core. Oh, the, uh, so you want the 79X? Seven, I, I think, yeah, that yeah, one's that one's good. good because They're gonna be at least in the I just wanna upgrade X. it, you know, if, yeah. if I have 8. Right, uh, right now, then I want to get the 12. Especially for like, I don't know what type of work you do, but if you have a Tesla, you're probably a very busy man. Yeah. So you probably want the more colors as possible, which I completely respect. 12 core CPU myself, actually 39, uh, 39X crushes. I'll probably upgrade that later maybe, or just wait till AM5. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, you'll probably be able to find a deal on that CPU because they're going to release the, what is it? The 9,950X, which is the 16 core 32 variation. And then they're probably going to drop a 3D version for the 99X. Yeah, I just don't want to go through installing Windows, all of that. Yeah, stuff. that's going to be a that's gonna be a pain. You should be able to write down the Windows key. So if you go to your settings on Windows, you can actually take the key from your motherboard, hold on to it and reuse it. Uh, or you can just buy a new one. They just place it so you can get them for 5 or $6. Yeah. Um, so I can always send you a link on that too if you're interested. Oh. But uh, if you want to contact me when you do the upgrade for a5 i can build it again make sure everything works and then we can just go from there and then you'll okay. completely white themed pc but so this is great nevertheless if you ever upgrade to a5 i'm willing to give you 50 percent off on the thing so that way you can just like not have to spend as much because you're gonna spend a ton on a5 right i might even do it just for free just because of the fact that you want that nice build and also just make a good video 